Hey everyone, it's Pickle Rick! And I'm Mr. Beezies! <laughs> and we are making some Rick and Morty themed cocktails to celebrate season five! <laughs> Recipe, but we will be listing it all down below in the description if you want to see the exact ingredients and measurements and things like that. So first off, we have the Meeseeks Margarita, mm -hmm. which is a blue margarita. And we're using Patron. Probably not the wisest decision because it is kind of expensive, but it's what we have. I'm like very picky with tequila. <laughs> like I either like Patron or Don Julio. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't ask me why. <laughs> what? Nothing. We almost used mix and then we were like, we Let's shouldn't. Go hard in the paint. We shouldn't use mix. <laughs> so we're using blue curacao instead of triple sec since it's still orange liqueur but it's blue and we gotta make a meat <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> so question for everyone, do you prefer a frozen margarita or on the rocks? <laughs> Did I not do it liquidy enough? Mm -hmm. What do you prefer? Uh, depends on the mood. <laughs> I prefer a frozen. Get swifty! Ooh, that's so pretty! I think I made it a little icy, but that's okay. So to garnish, since his hair is orange, we're gonna do a little orange twill. A couple of them? Yeah. yeah pull them out. <laughs> and now we have the Mr. V6 Margarita. So the Kirkland brand Meeseeks is pretty similar, but we're using frozen strawberries to make it red. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna be using triple sec instead of blue curacao. Ooh, strawberries. Can we even do so we originally thought of this kind of concept about Rick and Morty drinks a long time ago, actually, during our reactions on the rocks segment that we did over on our reaction channel, Dos Cavazos, link down below. Oh my gosh, if you ever want to watch a couple just get completely smashed watch and it. watch Rick and Morty for the first time, that's us. <laughs> we'll Don't link it. it. It's okay to shoot them, they're robots. They're not robots, Rick. <laughs> it's a figure of speech, Morty. They're bureaucrats. I don't respect them. Just keep shooting, Morty. I don't know. <laughs> It was embarrassing, it was a lot, and the, the video is still up for some reason. It was actually one of our best videos for the longest, like in terms of views. <laughs> yeah, we just, okay, like there's a story behind why that happened. Yeah. Does Anthony want to tell the story? So if you go to that video, we did like probably about a 10 or 15 second like montage of us getting ready to watch Rick and Morty, and we just thought like, oh, what would be cool? Let's do like a montage of us drinking, talking about stuff, and then we'll just kind of incorporate it in before the episode. But for whatever reason, we thought that we needed to do it for like two hours, let me first it. I thought we needed to do it for like an hour or two beforehand. So we just were drinking and drinking and drinking, and then we watched the episode. So by the time we did, we were a little past the point we're of tipsy. Swifty. <laughs> swifty, yeah, that's the word. So what do you think season five is gonna be like? Uh, I'm hoping that Evil Morty becomes the primary antagonist for Rick and Morty. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Yeah. I want him to be a little bit more reoccurring. Like it's so fun, you know, the few times that we've seen Evil Morty. And by the way, we're making an Evil Morty drink a little bit later. But don't they kind of like play into that by making it, like making fun of reoccurring plot lines? Sometimes, I, oh, I don't even know to be honest. <laughs> like I feel like sometimes, it's funny with some fans, they do enjoy the continuity and I feel like some fans don't enjoy the continuity. Right, I feel like I enjoy it ever so often. You know, I feel like it's cool to reference back to things. So to rim this, instead of using um, like regular salt or like the colored salt, we are using... The good shit. Tahin, <laughs> which is like chili powder um, and salt and some other seasonings. Ready for the taste test? Let's do it. I one. I feel like mine is gonna taste better than yours. Probably. Why mine's why? all fruity. Well, yours um, looks like more like a slush, where mine looks a little fruity and delicious. Okay, I fucked up. <laughs> it's too many strawberry chunks. Oh, you didn't blend it enough. Mm -hmm. 
This tastes like a frozen burger. No, I think I just got a chunk stuck in it. It's actually oh. good. This is actually really good. Right, right. Mm, I almost got like at the exact same time you said uh, it too. These were a win. I don't know if all the drinks will be a win, but these were a win. <laughs> so now we are moving on to the Ritz, which is a trio of three different drinks. First one involving pickles. <laughs> the Pickle Rick? The Pickle Rick! Yeah. I'm Pickle Rick! So we did try a pickleback shot in the past in one of our reactions. It was actually to the Pickle Rick. It was the Pickle Rick pickle episode. Pickle Rick episode. Yeah. Yeah, it was not good. For we us. didn't like it. It was We gross. may have fucked up the way we made it though. I yeah. think we just put Jameson in an emptied out pickle. Yeah, it was really gross and we didn't like it and we didn't want to do that again. So we found a recipe from Tipsy Bartender, which was like a pickle with a jello bloody mary. Oh, yeah. this sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh, I mean anyway. we haven't tried it yet. Yeah, so okay. we're about to find out. <laughs> okay. But we wanted to put our own little twist on it, so instead of tomato juice, we are using clamato, yeah. uh, which is technically a bloody Caesar. But I guess, yeah. We just like it better. Yeah, like you know, it's really good, like a michelada, um, and we just like it in Bloody Marys better than just plain tomato juice. So that's what we're doing. So first step is we gotta hollow out these pickles. It'd be a lot easier if you had a meloner. What's it called? Melon baller. Meloner? I said a meloner. Melon? A melon baller. So here we have our clamato. So you have to heat this up um, so that you can put the gelatin in it. So you take your heated up clamato and then you put the gelatin in it and you have to put it slowly or else it clumps up. And while Anthony's following out this <laughs> pickle. <laughs> Sounds so weird. Oh, I'm gonna make the gelatin. <laughs> By the way, what's your favorite episode of Rick and Morty? Yeah, let's know. I really liked the first time that we met the Council of Ricks. I thought that was really cool. I also, Pickle Rick, I mean, I feel like it's too easy to say Pickle Rick because everyone says Pickle Rick. I don't even know what my favorite episode is, and I feel like it's a really hard question, but I do know what my least favorite episode is, and that's the Fruity Land one. <laughs> I hate that episode. I don't ever want to hear it. Is that the guy with the about. jelly bean guy? Or is no, that it's the one where he goes to like the land where it was like Fruity Land. Uh, Beth goes into Fruity Land with like her childhood friend that got like stuck in there. Oh shit. With like the weirdness. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my least favorite episode, don't at me. Anyway, so I'm just mixing it. Then you want to mix in all your like favorite uh, Bloody Mary toppings. I'll have the recipe that I use listed down below, um, but you can kind of go crazy. Like a lot of people will have their own special Bloody Mary like seasonings they like. Um, so do you. Okay, so now what you do is you put these in the fridge and you let them set up overnight. Hours, um, yeah. yeah. We made ours already last we night. We did. We haven't and tried them yet, so you're about to see the, the finished product. Little movie magic. <laughs> and ta-da! Our pickle bricks. So, I mean, we're gonna cut it up for the aesthetic, but obviously you could just like. Just to really, actually I really wanna see what it's gonna look like. Yeah. <laughs> wow, ew, it's kinda weird. It kind of goes with the theme because Pickle Rick was a really bloody episode, just with yeah. mice. <laughs> Ew. I want to eat like the big one though when we taste it. That's what it. she said. <laughs> Cheers to Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! I mean, I can definitely taste the it. The taste is there. really good. The textures, you gotta get past it and then you're like, ooh, yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, your eyebrow! My fucking eyebrow fell off. So now it's time for the Rick Sanchez. Rick Sanchez. Yes. So we thought of what drink would probably best fit Rick. So we thought it might be an adios mother effer. Yeah. So that's we're calling one. it an adios Rick Sanchez. Adios Rick Sanchez. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be fun. If you don't know what an adios M F R, that's the, that's the actual title yeah. of the drink. Is it is like it's literally everything. like <laughs> so many different liquors and like a little bit of sweet and sour mix yeah. um, and some blue curacao to make it blue. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have fun with it and we're actually gonna try to really science these up a little bit and make them look like they're something straight out of Rick's laboratory. Or garage. <laughs> or garage. <laughs> Same difference. Yeah. So Anthony's gonna make a traditional one and I'm gonna like jazz mine up and try to make it purple. purple. Yeah. Just because that's fun and different and new. <laughs> I'm like measuring in case you just pour straight out the bottle. This is what Rick would do. <laughs> I was like, you're not fucking, you can't just eyeball it. What's fucking wrong with you, Morty? <laughs> it's not true level. <laughs> you don't know true level. Uh, yeah, oh, true oh, level, oh, bitch. Oh, oh, Morty, come on, we're leaving for school. Oh, 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 everything's crooked. Reality is poison. I, I want to go back. Wait, were we supposed to do triple sec? Oh, well, did. 
So to make mine purple, I'm gonna use some of this grape schnapps. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna Look. do. Oh no. Ooh, that's, that's fun and new. Color. Ooh, you know what else we got? Glitter. Glitter, edible glitter. Don't put real glitter in your drink. This is literally just gonna be like a conglomeration, a conglomeration of, liquors. of liquors, yes. Yeah, I think I kind of maybe, maybe some hypnotic. <laughs> like, oh, at this point. Oh, that's a pretty color. I'm wearing some blue to, hope, to hopefully darken it up. Put the blue okay, now it's blue. It's Ooh. fine. It's fine. Yours is supposed to be purple. Mine is supposed to be blue. <laughs> Mine's supposed to be blue. <laughs> we messed up. You messed up. What are you talking about? Mine's kind of like teal. I'm oh. gonna do something just because I've always wanted to do this. I literally have this little topper thing and I've always seen them do it in the bars and I just want to do it. <laughs> like eyeball it. Hey. Hey. Honestly, this like turned from <laughs> what we were doing into just like a whatever. It's just like put, now it turned into a science experiment. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at that. Wow, some edible glitter. What even is edible glitter made out of? I don't know if I want to look it up. <laughs> okay. Or should be like bugs or something? Yeah. Cicadas. So we're gonna try this concoction. <laughs> I can see how they taste. Mine just tastes like grape. Mine tastes a little juicy. It's actually kind of good. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna be really bad. Yours definitely tastes like grape. I think I like mine better. They're pretty good. And the glitter's all pretty. Nice and this shiny. This is fun. So now it's time for the tiny rig. Tiny so the tiny rig is actually gonna be another tipsy bartender recipe. Thank you, tipsy bartender. We love you. So tipsy. So this one is called the alien brain hemorrhage, technically, but mm -hmm. we're calling it the tiny rig. Um, it looks super unique and science. -y, something so out of space or something. It so. immediately made us think of Rick and Morty when we saw yeah. it. Yeah. So you start with peach schnapps. Oh wait, we need the syringe. I don't think I've ever had peach schnapps before, actually. And then the Bailey's is what really makes it. Woo! That's fun. The syringe helps you like place it though. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you don't have to use a syringe. We're just doing it just to Well, be we're extra. also using a small beaker, I feel like. And then we have some Midori, which I've like, for whatever reason, always wanted to try and like never did. And like, I just use this as an, as an excuse to um, get it. Mm -hmm. Which the Tipsy Bartender recipe did not use Midori, but we wanted to add some green into it just to like really make it look like outer space. Oh, look, I like shot it through it. And now the grenadine and then blue curacao. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's pretty weird, cool. but it's, it's like cool. dripping red. Yeah, See that? yeah. So I put too much peach schnapps, so we just like took some out <laughs> so that the blue grass that would fit just for color. It's pretty cool. Why does it look like red, white, and blue? <laughs> but it looks like there's a brain in the center, though. It looks yeah. interesting. Whatever, it's Tiny Rick. Tiny Rick. Tiny Rick. Ours is not very pretty, but it's okay because Tiny Rick. Tiny Rick. So it actually tasted pretty good. It tasted just like peach. Like the little curdly part was weird, yeah. but once you get past that, it was easy. So the Evil Morty is going to be a layered shot. We thought that these glasses would be very fitting. Like they seem very suave. Okay, so this is my first time ever trying to do a layered shot. So, and this is also my first time ever having Chambord, which is a raspberry liqueur, it's French. And let's do this. So it's gonna be topped with some whipped cream, but we couldn't find like the Reese's whipped cream which we wanted, which is like brown. So Anthony's just mixing some regular whipped cream with cocoa powder. Yeah. You put like an exonerate, exonerating? Exonerate? Like, you put an, I've an exonerated amount of cocoa powder. We thought like raspberry, lemon, and chocolate, so I don't know, should. Hopefully. <laughs> Ooh! I've never had Oh my gosh, before. this smells like, like a, like a key lime pie or like a lemon meringue pie. Oh my gosh, that's good. Okay, so to layer it, you have to do something weird with a spoon. Which we've never done before. I know. I don't think I did it. It like layered the opposite way. <laughs> it's gonna work, we're going with it. Can I put the... Ew, it's gonna look so bad. I'm sorry, y'all. I think we messed up the evil Morty, but you know, he's kind of messed up in a bit. <laughs> so in reality, it's like um, a metaphor. <laughs> you look like Rick in his lab. <laughs> Shut up, Morty. <laughs> we don't have fucking time for your bureaucracy. Bureaucracy, I can't even fucking say the word. Gotta have the pinkies out for this evil one. Evil Morty. Mmm. It was good. 
Oh my gosh. It was really Y'all. We like, just invented something. It looked like shit, but it tasted really what? good. What? That it was like a chocolate, chocolate raspberry candy. deliciousness. With, lemon, with a hint of lemon. Oh my gosh. Chambord this. You don't have to layer it, just throw it all in there. And if you can find this chocolate whipped cream, chocolate whipped cream. Alright, so the next drink is going to be the Mr. Poopy Butthole. Ooh, wee. The primary ingredients are going to be 99 bananas, some coconut rum, and rum chata. We're going to put frozen bananas up in this bitch. Let us know if you like this kind of video, or if you hate it, or whatever. Just let us know in the comments down below. Do you want to see us do more like... Different shows? Drinks, cooking, we do foods. Let us know. Look at you, you bartender, you. So unfortunately, Mr. Poopy's butthole's I leg broke. broke his leg off. Anthony <laughs> did it. I didn't. I didn't think it was real. Yeah. <laughs> so he's here. He's Imposter. Fine, <laughs> and he's just chilling. Oh, Ooh -wee. looks Ooh -wee. like we got a good old poopy butthole. <laughs> if you don't watch Rick and Morty and you hear Mr. Poopy butthole, you're like, what? <laughs> like, what kind of show is this? I mean, it just tastes like banana. <laughs> like straight banana. And did you cinnamon. put alcohol in it? <laughs> put a lot of alcohol on it. You don't taste any alcohol. You taste nothing. It's dangerous. It tastes like banana bread. Mm. That's like probably in my top like three. I think. If not top two. So right now, the Mort Evil, Evil Morty. Morty. Probably this one. The margaritas were good, but like they were just like basic margaritas. margaritas. Yeah, because yeah, it's not like we did anything really extra to them. So now it's time for the dun 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 vat of acid. <laughs> <laughs> the vat of acid. So for this, we are using dry ice just for aesthetic purposes. But if you're ever handling dry ice at home, never touch it with your bare hands or skin. Um, and also, we just found this out today. Don't put it in glass. So the ingredients for this are Midori, sour apple schnapps, 7-Up, or your choice of lemon lime soda. It's like a twist on some jungle juice. Yeah. And apple soda, we are using manzana sol. And then to really make it seem like it's the vat of acid, we are going to be cutting some little pieces of bone, like with a cookie cutter, yeah. out of fruit. All right. Got our base done. <laughs> we put melons in it, and we put his little whiskey stones. They're like, they're skulls. like skulls, yeah. Um, because of the vat of acid, it's like he releases the bones, yeah. right? We have dry ice in here. We have- Apple chunks. <laughs> apple chunks. And we have honeydew melon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just like literally throwing everything in. I mean, that's what jungle juice is. Put another apple soda in there. Oh, and like the foam. I mean, the foam. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, toil, toil, boiling, toil. Wait, what am I doing? Oil, trouble? toil, boiling, trouble. trouble. Oh, I blew it. Oh, I didn't like what it like. Hold on. Let's get our little, our yeah. little guy right there in front of it. Woo! I haven't had this apple soda since I was like literally seven. I haven't made jungle juice in like so many years. So it's much. been ages. Thank you so much for the vodka. <laughs> this is so cool and fun. This, this is, is my favorite thing. This is so I don't know fun. how the hell it's gonna taste, but it's, it's pretty fun. Cool. We're just gonna let it dissolve. <laughs> See how this tastes. <laughs> Testing the vat of acid. I mean, it's good. Really? I mean, it's jungle juice, so. <laughs> Does it taste apple-y? You can taste the melon and the apple. It's super cold from the dry ice, too. It's like fruity and delicious and tastes like apple soda. So this was fun. Uh, I think the vat of acid was definitely the most fun to make. Yeah. My, <laughs> my favorite one, honestly, was probably the, actually, no, it was the Evil Morty. The, the little Evil shots Morty in the was, like, you wouldn't expect it to be that good, but it, it tasted like a dessert, and I'm about to drink those two right there. <laughs> They're <were bad. laughs> so. Um, this is fun. Second though, I would probably honestly say the vat of acid tasted really, really good. And then this the cookie butthole. If you have like a bunch of people coming over and you need to make something for everyone, mm -hmm. make If this. you want to do it for the Rick and Morty premiere. Yeah, this was this was really good. It tasted really good. Um, just be careful. 
careful because it has a lot of alcohol in it yeah. and you can't tell. <laughs> and be careful with the dry ice like we said. Also, I really like the pickle shots even though they were a little weird to get used right. to at first. The jello the, in a pickle. Yeah. It's not something that I don't think I've ever been used to or the ever tried before. The flavor is really good though. So let us know which drink you want to watch us drink while we watch on our other channel, Dos Cavazos. And do you want to see a part two? Let us know which yeah. characters you want to see us turn into drinks. We watch a lot of stuff on the channel. We watch Star Wars shows, a whole bunch of anime, a whole bunch of fun things. Yeah, so let us know. This is something that we wanted to try. We thought it'd be fun. Let us know if you liked it and let us know if you want to see like more of this kind of video. So thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to finish some of these drinks, <laughs> get ready for season five, and we will see you over on our other channel, Dos Cabasos, for the reactions. Bye, guys.